What's going on guys, AJ here and today we are back with the park. Last game, last game? Last episode, this game scared the hell out of me. Which is it, rather unusual for me, usually I don't get scared that much, but it was sudden, it crept up on me, and it worked. Uh, yeah, the guy that you can see in the background there, he sort of as a shadow, jumped out of us while we were riding this ride. So now, I think we continue on to the ferris wheel. God damn it. Uh, we're still looking for our child. He's still out here somewhere. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there. And so far from my expectations. And they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Wow. That was, uh, deep. Yeah, so last episode, we started down on the bottom left in the Tunnel of Tales. Uh, it wasn't that interesting, just told us the story of Hansel and Gretel, and had a weird creepy swan on it. Then we moved up to the Oxtron, where the guy just appeared out of nowhere, giant in the sky. I think we're supposed to go to the Ferris wheel next, but that bridge was broken going up the top, so I guess we won't be? Might end up on the bumper cars, that'd be quite fun, if we can mess around on those. I'm not Callum. Anymore, Callum! The hell is that thing? Is that supposed to be cute? Oh, it's like something you'd see on Spore. Just ugly. Yeah, here we go. Here's the bumper cars. I think I've got to go off to the Ferris wheel, though. Constant crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, can I not do it? Can I not play bumper cars? Oh, yep, here we go. Bumper cars! Woo! There no controls for it? Aw, can I not do it? Aw, it's a shame. What's the point of being able to go up here then? If I can't have fun. Stupid game with its strict no fun policy. It's still kind of creepy though. Aw. Oh well. Off the track then, I suppose. There's no point being on here. <gasps> Actually. Oh, is that one on? Yes. Wait, Callum. Uh, okay. See, if I was actually playing the game properly and looking for the clues, then I would have known. Accident report. Report number two. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bump cars into the er area, arena, even, God, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bump cars onto Francis, who was standing directly... Oh, standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries caused. That doesn't make sense. Francis was killed. Oh, God. Did the injured employee see a doctor? Apparently, yes, despite the fact that he was dead. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of the worker's compensation form? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck's driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to present this, prevent this accident incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Employee of super supervisor's signature. Additional comments. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. Ah. Hello? 
Um, um, I can't move. Can't move. Well, that was lucky. It's a good job they didn't know how to drive. Oh, I thought I was going to get to have a go, though. Mommy is coming, Callum. Yeah, regrettably. So why wasn't there an instant report on this? Like that, that one. Wait, did so did that actually happen, or has that already happened? And I was just getting like a incident flashback of it. So there was no report on that. Public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Wow, this woman really has some things going on. Sounds like she didn't actually like her son anyway. Right, well, we're finally at the Ferris wheel. Yay. The bump cars, the guy didn't appear, but we almost got killed. Continually delayed by the in incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are local and so they believe a lot of the rumours about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grow up on these tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, these fools are crossing themselves against black the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose the site over all the other potentials. Sol Solomon Island as a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin cruel. I called in a few favours back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about the local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson had some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the pieces of the plans that I am missing. Okay. So there was someone pretty much trying to summon demons. And my son is missing here. Wonderful. That's for now at the Ferris wheel. We've done the bumper cars. The roller coaster will be next after this then. Great. I wonder if Mr. Creepy Pants is going to appear this time. That's a big Ferris wheel. Like that is huge for a theme park. Where are you, Callum? Let's go. Decrease speed. Time to hop on. Hey, Chad the Chipmunk. Please say it's going to like come undone and I'll start rolling down the hill. Okay, it's not so bad so far. There's no door, that makes me a bit on edge. I reckon he's gonna appear again. He's gonna like stare through this doorway or something. Hello? People oh wow. Come to your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. Okay, this theme box in a bit of a weird place. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, 
and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Wow. So Callum's dad died working here at this creepy theme park that is literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's surrounded by mountains. Well, he didn't appear. That was easy. Wasn't so bad. Oh god, there he is. What are you doing in there? Oh, that was fine. That wasn't so bad. Thanks, Chad the Chipmunk. Although the guy was definitely in there. He's definitely following me. Please don't say, like, the weird, creepy thing is Callum's dad who died working on the damn Ferris wheel. Oh, go out. Right, on to the next ride then, I suppose. Uh, so I'm at the Ferris wheel. Need to go down to the roller coaster. Great. Wait, is this the way that came from? No, because I came through that fence. Callum! Oh, so that leads down to there again. So there must have been another path. Back up we go. What the hell is that noise? Um, yeah, it's this way. So, so far what we know is that Callum's dad died. There's been loads of accidents here because it's believed to have black magic energies circling around. So lots of people are superstitious, there was loads of accidents and people thought they were seeing things, which obviously I am as well. Uh, and Callum has now gone missing. This woman was dealing with a lot of stress after the death of her husband. Well, saves me trying to move the tree I suppose. Thanks. Wish I was in that though. It would have been much more fun. Come back, Callum. Whoa. No need to get angry. Calm down. I'm sure he's out Mommy's here somewhere. Coming, <laughs> then you act will try and sweeten him. And... Children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Wow. That is. That's dark. So this woman lost her husband. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Doesn't really care about her child and is considering just leaving him in the park. Wow. Obviously, I think this woman is somehow connected to all this then. Oh, great. Time to ride the roller coaster. I'm sure, this will be a barrel of fun. Actually, it does look fun. We need to talk about Callum. What? Well, what? What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and the um, boy are everything that this place um, want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so 
hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Oh god. What the hell? Woo! Yeah! Why, why, what the? What's with the flashback scenes? I just want to enjoy the roller coaster. Whee! Whoa, what did that say? Give me time to read it. Not safe. Can you taste your dreams? Did that say? Oh, hello. Oh, bye, Callum. Whoops. May have just smacked my child with a roller coaster. I don't. That was fun. Thanks for that. Creepy McCreepy Pants. Well, that was interesting. So there's some sort of actual witch that's like possessed the place and turned everyone evil. But then that Oh, I have a flashlight now. Now I can go into the House of Horrors. Just wonderful. Just exactly where I want to go. Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. How would you know? Him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Wow. So, it seems like there's some sort of demons possessing this place. And they're trying to take the child. That weird creepy McCreepy Pants was talking to me as if he knew me. So, perhaps that is the ex-husband? And like, instead of dying, he just got possessed. Because he said, I'm a fool and I always have been. But we've got the... F what the... Fine. Looks like I'm staying in here now. But we've got the flashlight, which means we have to head to the House of Horrors. Yay. But first we have to go through here. But that's where I'm going to leave it for this one. So I'll see you in the next one. Because I'm out of here.